Sucker for love. First date. And good evening everyone and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday Night Spice stream. I hope you're all doing well this evening as best you possibly can. Thank you all so very much for joining me tonight, guys. We already have an absolutely incredible, incredible start to tonight. Um, we have a number of subs already, uh, renew subscriptions and gifted subs. I'm going to read those off in just a second. But guys, we have a hype train going already first few minutes of the night and we're already starting off on an amazing note. Thank you so much everyone. I'm going to read them through now. <laughs> um, but yeah, we currently have a level 3 hype train going, so if you want to renew your subscriptions, now's the perfect time to do so. Thank you so very much. Firstly, we have the Lou Bear renewing for a 17 month resub. 17 months means it is time for Happy Dance. Absolutely! Thank you so much for your support. You're amazing. Sanctuary Carmina, thank you so much for your 21 month resub. Another month able to relax at the respite. Love your staff, keep being awesome and providing such a comfortable and safe space. And thank you so much for your amazing support, Carmina. I just try to keep my space like inclusive and welcoming and just fun. No drama here. We just like to come here to just relax, blow off some steam and just enjoy. Enjoy some good video games. Some wonderful video games. Especially tonight, because this one has beautiful monster girls. <laughs> but thank you so much. Uh, the Lou Bear, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Tiger Lily T. Tiger Lily T, I hope you enjoy your subscription on all the fun emotes and all the fun things it entails. Uh, Percy, ooh, I'm not sure if I got that right. Thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Barden's Odyssey, thank you so much for the 15 month resub. Another month and another chance to thank you for drawing us all together. The respite shines as proof of how amazing you are. You guys are gonna kill me one day, you know, with all the beautiful sweet words. I'm gonna. I'm going to have too much sweetness in my system from you guys saying such wonderful things. So thank you so much, Barton's Odyssey. <laughs> and Hayden, renewing your 29-month resub, a tier 3 sub at that choo-choo. Is that the hype train I hear? Absolutely. And it is charging strong as ever. Thank you so much, Hayden, for the three-month... Sorry, not three-month. A 29-month resub. Thank you. And a stretch check while we're at it. Oh, good, 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 good. And the Luba, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh, Mike, thank you so much for the gifted community sub that went to Pikachu65. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us tonight. I know you're just as excited as I am to watch me play this. Um, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And R Phoenix, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Chico Olares. Thank you so, so much to all of you for your absolutely incredible support. Gifted subs, bit drops, renew subscriptions. We still have that hype train going. But thank you all so, so much for your absolutely incredible support so far. Mwah, mwah. You're all incredible. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, my lovely Lost Tales, you mean so much to me. Thank you. Okay, so tonight we are playing Sucker for Love. If you are not familiar with this game, you are in for a treat. Um, it's a relatively short game. We're probably going to finish all of it in one night. I plan on finishing uh, all three parts of it in one night. So I hope you guys have got yourselves a drink. Settle in, because the next few hours are going to get a little bit weird and a little bit flirty. Well, it's a sliding scale of like, it's a, it's, we need to determine the ratio of like flirtiness to like absolute fucking terrifyingness. <laughs> mm. Mm. Gigosh, thank you so much for the hydrate check. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, it is not quite a uh, Catboy Cafe. These are eldritch entities that we are dealing with, and we will respect them as such. And so, I expect all of you, yes, all of you, to simp respectfully in chat. Because these goddesses are so very hot. So please, 
be respectful in chat. And I will just give a quick warning. Um, even though this is a tongue-in-cheek fun game and I love it so very much. Um, sorry, there was just a bug. It's, it's, it's going to be annoying me all night. I know it. Okay. Um, so even though this is a fun tongue-in-cheek game, um, where, 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 where we smooch... It's, we try to smooch the, the pretty, pretty, pretty eldritch, eldritch goddesses. Um, it is also heavy in horror elements and like cult imagery and stuff like that and occultism. So it does get weirder. So please, just a quick content warning. Take this at your own pace. If things do genuinely get too unsettling or too weird for you, don't be afraid to step away. Just take a few minutes for yourself. Just ground yourself do whatever you need to do but yeah just wanted to give a quick content warning that while this is an amazing game and it's so much fun um i haven't done everything i just wanted to make sure that we would have a nice smooth stream this evening and i just wanted to do a, like a quick overall check to see if it was appropriate um but yes i just want to give a quick heads up so i hope you all enjoy tonight um but a huge huge thank you to hayden for the 3400 bits <laughs> Dude, thank you. Thank you so much. You're incredible. I really appreciate it. Mwah. I'm not done with this hype train yet. Hell yes. Uh, and the Lou Bear with 500 bits. Oh, <laughs> weird and flirty. That's the reason I'm here. Hell yes. Hell yes. Thank you so much, Lou Bear. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you. Mm. And Hayden with another f 100 bits. Just to even it out to a good 3,500. Thank you so much, Hayden, for all the bits. You guys are absolutely incredible tonight. Thank you all so very much. Alrighty. So, yes. Thank you, Samuel. So, yes. Quick content warning for blood, bodily harm, and cosmic space horror weird stuff. Also, you might want to have a bottle of water with you because you might get thirsty. I'm just saying. And our oh, Phoenix, thank you so much for the 500 bits. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are incredible tonight. Thank you. We're almost up to a level 5 hype train. I'm not sure if we've even gotten that high before. Um, but yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's get started. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Lynetta, my Riley scary girlfriend. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Oh my god. Um, Hayden, thank you so much for another 500 bits. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, well, it was payday to hey today. What the hell? Thank you so, so much, Hayden. You're incredible. And the Lou Bear for the five gifted community subs. Thank you so much for supporting my archive of Lovely Lost Tales. You're amazing. Thank you so much, Lou Bear. And guys, we have a level five hype train going at the moment. I'm not sure how many um, uh, levels are in a hype train, but I, I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, you guys. You're amazing, thank you. <clears throat> Their awakening under a lion's stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I've only half an hour atop till the sun's till the stars move out of position. I'd better wash my face to calm down. Oh, I'm cute. I'm a handsome yeah. lad. Barden's Odyssey, thank you so much for the gifted community sum. <laughs> thank you so much, Barden's. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so uh, kindly for the gift of what a way to realize the stream was live. Yes, Dinga, thank you so much for joining us. Feel free to stay as long as you like. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. 
It whispered its name to me. Lynetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. Mike! Come on, fam, we can break stuff if we keep going. I'm made of stronger stuff, young man. It'll take a lot to break me. <laughs> we love to see the numbers go up. I do too. I do too. Very, very much so. But always prioritize your own financial responsibilities first. But anything you could do to support me is hugely appreciated. Thank you so much, guys. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spell book containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, I'll... How do you get my diary? Sorry. <laughs> Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? Thank you so much, Mike, for the gifted community sub. It went to, uh, Leia Drew. Thank you so, so much, Mike. You do so much to support me in innumerable ways, not only just as a, as a friend, as an incredible editor, and also a mod and, and subscriber and gifter and supporter in so many ways. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. Oh, Mike, I'm, I'm fucking unbreakable. Come on. Come on. It's me we're talking about. <laughs> it's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer is probably long gone too. Damn it, I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a strange scam though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Do they really think nobody would notice that their book in of the dead is Malibu Pink? Ah, oh, Fenix, thank you so much for the gifted community sub. <laughs> you guys are incredible tonight. Thank you so much, Ah, oh, Fenix. Thank you. And yes, we have just under a minute on this hype train to go, and we've already, you guys have already gone above and beyond. Thank you so much. Mm. We're so close. We're so close to the end of it. Wait, is this symbol on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilt and gold, too. It's a very pretty book. Okay. I'm- because I know this is an independent developer who made this game, but I'm just saying that if they get merchandising options, um, make copies of this book, because I would buy one to have it on the shelf. And Hayden, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits! Oh, blast me for a fool. <laughs> Dude, thank you. Thank you so, so much. And Koala Tea Time, thank you so much for the renewed subscription, for two month subscriptions now. I know how to get her. Someone needs to nail a good Bayonetta cosplay and get the voice down, then message her, then I'll break. I mean, get her. Like, I, I might just, like, I might pass out if, like, a really amazing Bayonetta cosplayer... Because I imagine Bayonetta is also incredibly tall. Like, at least six foot two or something like that. Like, very tall, very elegant. And if she looked me dead in the eye and just said something to me, I think I would actually pass out, to be fair. But come on. So would all of you guys. It's not just me. <laughs> but quality time, thank you so much. And Barden's Odyssey, thank you so much for the 100 bits. You're incredible. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let me just check if there was a message with that. Take more bits. I absolutely will. Thank you so, so much, Barden's. <laughs> And Dinger, thank you so much for the gifted community sub and for supporting my archive of lovely lost tales. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And guys, that brings us to the end of that hype train. Thank you so much for your support, guys. I really, really appreciate it. You guys went above and beyond, and we're literally just starting out tonight. 
We haven't even seen like the goddesses we're going to smooch. You guys are eager. <laughs> But thank you so much, everyone, for the gifted subs, the renewed subs, the bit drops. Thank you so much, everyone. And now that you have already gone above and beyond with your generosity, settle in and let's have some fun. Mm -mm -mm. And this weight. Why they make a knockoff out of such high quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just the delivery confirmation message. Hmm? What the? My order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow. And what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did I get Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom, it's Rylian, the unholy language of the Eldritch Gods. Also, the pages reek from formaldehyde, embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Objective. Perform the calling ritual. Sorry, you guys can't really see um, what's at the top bar, but I'll be sure to read it. <clears throat> Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn off your overhead lamps. In the dark, light red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. Okay. So, time for things to get spooky. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. So spooky. Well, it's a bit late for that. Never leave the lights off. Hmm. Ooh, this is cool. Do not cover your ears, you will need them. Well, guys, pucker up because we're going to be calling something from the far beyond. Draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn on your overhead lights in the dark light red fire candles. Okay. Done. Find and put on your ritual necklace. Done. When all is complete, chant. The Neta Af Art Le Mekar Pashtun Le Kreai. Mortal. Oh, God. It actually worked. She's here! A beacon of madness is towering over me, an omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Lanetta the Starspawn and brought about the end of reality? I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread. I... Choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. Dark One, I ask that you grant me my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No, I want to smooch you. I want to smooch. Don't say it again, creep! And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? Sorry, I messed up on that. I'm mad with lust. Send me back. Huh? But, but you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. M maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly! Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is- Where'd you get that book? She's so cute! Huh, what, this? I found it outside my door. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Huh? 
Moo, who's that? Are they the one who left this funny looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. Oh. For what? For dating me. Oh, okay. What, really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. Yay! <laughs> I can like to get for a Batman. How's it going? Just in time for adoring the beautiful and adorable ba uh, Lynetta. Mm -mm. Also, I will be reading these lines not like as like the character who's like it, I'm just like I'm just flustered and like so happy. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait, what did she say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Ooh. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. Go on. I you'll let me smooch you? If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm totally not at all just uh, looking you dead in the eye as you glare at me while applying my lip balm. <laughs> Apologies, headphone users. <laughs> Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. Oh. Okay. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Oh, look at all the hydrate checks. I wonder what caused those. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, they say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. <laughs> so if the world is going to end either way, Deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the depths ritual? Okay. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> okay. Okay. So more stuff is revealed. Okay. Ooh. Check that out later. Invoke the depths. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. Okay, so to not perform it alone, we have a pet turtle. Good, good, good. You doing okay? What's with the worried look, darling? I shouldn't be doing these spells alone. The book said so. But you aren't alone. I'm here. You know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. What does it matter if your mind is unraveling? Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. Oh, collect again for Batman. In my 2,000 years of life, I never thought I would see a game like this. But aren't you so glad to be alive at this moment in time to experience this with us? I know I am. <laughs> These rituals look bad for my short-term health, too. Well, you better finish them quickly, then. Okay. I kind of want her dress, though. Okay. Uh, do not perform this ritual alone. Stuff all lights from the room. Oh, let me just do that. Just in case. And that's closed. Uh, turn on a single shower to make the sound of moving water. When all is complete, chant. 
I, I'm gonna try and pronounce these spells as best I can, but apologies if this is just like gobbledygook. Okay. I think I have to perform it in this room because all the lights are out. Okay, let's give that a try. There we go. Oh, sweet home. Are we? What did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Okay. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, no, wait, why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? No, not at all, it's fine. Oh, uh, no, not at all, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Uh-huh, okay. I mean it. Don't peek. I wasn't going to. I respect your privacy. I won't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? I... Positive. All right, I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, what other rituals do we got? Uh, abyssal mist. Okay. While she's in the shower, uh, let's perform the abyssal mist one. Ensure your sink or shower is running to make the sound of moving water, then go outside. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog, they'll know if you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning, it's just to help lower your electricity bill. And then you chant. Okay, so we just need to go outside. Dreaded Spagoot, thank you so much for joining us tonight! <laughs> Jeez, it looks like qu quiet hell out here with all this fog. <gasps> Darling, you didn't! I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. I didn't know you have a house on the water! I am... Oh, I am... I have, I have many things that I can offer. Many things. Like my undying loyalty. <laughs> Oh, Dreaded Spagoot, you know Mike! Awesome! I didn't five minutes ago. And the Metloid Man, how's it going? Welcome! In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? Oh, there's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. I'd hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside? Now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. That's comforting. After all, the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Un unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. Okay. Let's go inside. Ooh, yes. Perform unspeakable horror. I take it it's that then? What the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce this. Yeah, duh! That's why it's an unspeakable horror. Ha <laughs> ha. Unspeakable, get it? As in, cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Okay, okay. Wait, you can pronounce this? Of course I can! I can pronounce anything! Anything? Anything. Anything? Oh yeah? Then what's this? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? We have so much in common. <laughs> Sorry! 
Damn, you are the real deal. Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? And then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Mike, I am a woman of many secrets. Show off. Okay, Eldritch Mouth. This ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleaned easily, like the bathroom, where no robes or amulets. Have a ritual knife on your person. Okay. So we need my knife, and we need to go to the bathroom. Eldritch Mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my li livelihood on the line here. Okay, big breaths. Brace yourself. Okay, to be fair, Sam, so what am I? Am I an eternal fey being, like slowly corrupting the minds of the beautiful? and enslaving them to join my court? Or am I an eldritch abomination also corrupting the minds of wayward souls and having them join my un like undying army of loyalty and devotion? Or is it like two sides of the same coin? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still cute as hell. Hell yes, there's that confidence. But I thought I'd get an Eldritch Mouth or something. Okay, fine. I might be a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Very well. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Lynetta? Yes? Hmm. <laughs> you startled me. You, you called me! Ah. Uh, who the hell was that third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa, hand holding on the first date. Moving fast, but that's okay. No, look at your hand, silly. My hand? Yay, this is fine. Oh, what? Get it off! Quick, help me cut it off, quick! Cut it Hurry! Off? But it's your hand now, see? Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's very much, it's a very much embodied mouth indeed. Is this really my hand? What, what did I do to my hand? <laughs> Darling, are you alright? This is screwed up. I mean, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on? But I'm not stopping before I get that smooch. No matter what, I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad, huh? I mean, there's gotta be a silver lining to this. Well, I have my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch, yeah? <laughs> Darling. Oh shit. Is someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? The sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me to my senses. Damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly at that knife? About that knife? Do the neighbors call the cops? If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it! I even picked up the apartment from on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door? You're shouting just now. Come on, let me in. Uh, it's an anime girl. Oh no! <laughs> Crap, it's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be, and at the worst possible time. What do, what do I do? It's even safe to go out. Is it even safe to go outside right now? With all the world bending spells I've been casting. Who's that, darling? 
Oh, fuck. Uh, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? No. I mean, no, I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind flaying goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess it's a good point. Wait here. I'll be right back. Missy, hey! Good to see you! How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. It's, it's fine. Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this eldritch paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. Like, she, for me, like, she's more cute than she is hot. Like, Lynetta, on the other hand, is just... Chef's kiss. But you're, like, head pants. Cute. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? No. Oh, gods, yes. Oh, hell yes. Right this way, Wait, Lynette is inside. I got so caught up in the moment, I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out here? Um, uh, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. A present that has to be given in private? Oh man, what could it be? <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate check, Frosty Kings. Oh. Dread is for good. I am a woman of exquisite taste. Not just in monster girl waifus, but in fashion, and movies, and food, and all the good things in life. But especially video games and monster girls. And monster boys. And monster everything. Just, I love monsters so much. Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy meet on toast. Can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. Oh, uh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Oh. Right, I forgot. Her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking so long? I miss you. Uh, do you tear, like... Oh no, sorry, I misread your comment because it's all like, I wrote the fanfic for this anime, I mean what? I voice acted for this anime, I mean what? Because I was about to say, wait, are you actually in this game? <laughs> sorry, I was just like, wait, do we actually have a voice actor? <laughs> mm. From the game, but no, sorry, my mistake. Uh, Lynetta, we'll be back in a moment, sweetie. It's Lynetta coming to the door. I can hear her footsteps. Huh? Who was that? You have company over? Hey, Stripe Lord, how's it going? It's true, I saw the hat you got and it looks fire. Um, I'm usually not a hat person, but I was like, it's hot over here in the UK. I want to, like, stay cool and style. So I bought it. And it looks really cool. I really like it. That's just, uh, the mailman. Inside your apartment? Oh, shoot, I got my lame excuses mixed up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? No one. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy, this is the only way I could survive this. What's going on, darling? <gasps> uh, turns out it was one of those uh, door to door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know. <laughs> no! uh, I, I don't want any. Uh... You want me to make them go away? No, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually, they'll give up. Like now. Did she finally give up? I better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Uh, now that we have the Eldritch Mouth, we can do this.
<laughs> you guys aren't ready. Uh, objective, perform metamorphosis. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoke the depths. We've done both of those. If you see or hear something strange, it is not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Okay. Took down the poster. No, we don't want to wear that. Oh wait, do we want to wear that? Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Okay. Got my robes. So, Snap, how come this your game lets you have two yandere's? Like, they're just spoiling us. They're spoiling us at this point. Okay, I got my ritual knife. Uh, wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Always remember the second step of the previous page. This is the point of no return. Okay. When all is complete, chant. Hello, handsome. And I thought you were cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. Oh, what have I done? Steph's out here collecting existential threats <laughs> as significant others like Pokemon. I'm gonna smooch them all. <laughs> I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something is not right. What happened to me? What have I done? Now I'm a tentacle mouth! Yay! Hang on, do I need to like react to my... React to my mirror image? Okay, never mind. Is it coming off? Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Lynetta, help! This ritual will serve your connection, restore your sanity, and return. Darling, what are you looking at? Nothing. I was literally just perusing the book. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing. Oh my god, she's actually reading my mind. Oh fuck. Is that the truth? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Did <gasps> I scare you, darling? A little. Dad. I know what page you were on. Okay. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Okay. 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 Prepare offering. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients for Cold storage. Okay, and sure the right symbol is present. I'm not sure if I fucked it up by washing my face. But we'll see how things go. Ah, oh, Phoenix, it's a lovely pet name being called Darling. And it also depends, like, it could be playful, like, Darling. Or it could be like much smoother and like old fashioned seductive, like darling. <laughs> uh, collect the necessary ingredients from cold storage. So I have yogurt and milk. I'll just put that away just in case. Um, ensure the symbol is present nearby. Kali Dehumanization, how's it going? Welcome back. That already smells delicious, darling. All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. Okay. A 
Okay, perform reach into oblivion. Wear a ceremonial robe and you and have a ritual knife in your possession. I need my robe. Got my robe. Mom, you can't be talking like that. Your voice is my weak spot. Well, if I shut the fuck up on streams, it's gonna get real boring. <laughs> It's not my fault I've got exquisite taste in video games that just happen to let me bring out my spicy side every once in a while. <laughs> Have another life form on your person and make sure this weird eye is on the board. There we go. Hang on one second. There we go. Oh, and we're not breaking up with Lynetta. Fuck no. Have you seen her? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, ensure the symbol is present nearby. Have another life form on your person. I'm just going to do a quick scan through to see if there's anything else you can do. Okay. Right, ceremonial robe and ritual knife. Sure, the symbol is present nearby. Okay. Oop. <laughs> Stay in the golden Did I do that right? Oh, I did do that right. Yay, the world's ending. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, uh, what do I do? Okay, escape reality. If you can read this, all reality is doomed. Once you start this ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You'll be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff any existing lights, or you will attract their attention. Ensure the simplest present your Uh, windows or doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff any existing candles. Uh, ensure the symbol is present, and then chant. Okay, next page. She is coming, ensure the symbol is present nearby. Fuck. Chant. If she gets into your rooms too late, ensure the symbol is present nearby. Fucking fuck. Come on. Repeat this chant until you believe you are safe. Darling, what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I think we could all use it some more inflictions of darling for the chat. Oh, Medloid man, I am happy to oblige. Mm. Darling. 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 Hmm. Darling. Darling. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. Are you I'm okay. Are you okay, Lynetta? You were you worried about us? I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. What? I guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Oh, thank you for the stretch check, Hayden. Oh. I'm probably going to need a couple of those because I was at, with my personal trainer this morning and the stuff that I had to do for my upper body and my shoulders, I am going to be so sore tomorrow. Mmm. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard it's still there. Oh, good! What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence. And even escaping reality won't protect you. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and... And you painlessly myself. As thanks for waking me up. You wouldn't hear their screams anymore. Or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Thank you for the hydrate check, Barton's Odyssey. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. 
Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling. I mean, if she says darling, then of course I'm allowed to say darling. Dark Communion. Do not attempt this ritual without performing and prepare offering. Reach into oblivion. We've done both of those. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Okay, that's on. That's on. Damn it. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay. Low checkpoint. I will say this is good that um, if you fuck up and you you die or lose your mind, you can just go back to like a set checkpoint in the story as opposed to having to start the whole thing over again. Darling, what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Okay, I'll skip through this just because we just heard it. I'm sorry, Lynetta. You're flawless and we love you. Escape reality. Dark communion. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. That's on. Mm -mm. The offering on your person. Okay, this should be right. Delicious! Just perfect! I wish you could make offerings like this forever! Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. Pledging yourself to me! Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. <sighs> to be fair, not wanting to like get philosophical, but having the last act of humanity for all time be like purely driven out of desire mostly lust for wanting to kiss gorgeous monster girls that feels very appropriate i'm just saying the final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion the privilege is yours alone i may be inexperienced with human emotions but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Okay. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? I can do that. <gasps> That's a cute. Thank you, my love. This shouldn't be getting to me the way that it does, but it's just, it's so cute. <laughs> She's so pretty. <gasps> There's a cute anime monster girl in our room. I'm so happy. Okay, final pledge. Have a ritual knife on your person. I'm gonna put the turtle back because he doesn't deserve to suffer. Have a ritual knife on your person. Chant five times to fill the heart. The netta after her. Lanetta Afat Ah Lamanabinadashtu Lukhiri. Lanetta Ahat Alamanabinadashtu Lukhiri. Lanetta Afat Ah Lamanabinadashtu Lukhiri. It's done. 
The last ritual. You did wonderfully. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. Oh, that look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me and all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Mm-hmm. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. You're up, my darling. <gasps> You've earned it. <sighs> Guys, it's time to smooch. Smooch. Yay! The world is ending! The screams of the damned echo into the night, but we got a smoocher! Mm -mm. So worth it. So worth it. Okay, let's get back to the main menus. End of the world for a smooch. Yes, and it was worth it. See, chat, I knew you would appreciate this game. I knew you would love this game just as much as I would. Thanks for playing. Sucker for love. First date. Now, it doesn't just end there, guys. On to chapter two. Chapter 2, The King in Yellow Approaches. In a world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares, something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky might be the most prophetic premonition of doom. For whatever the lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines, the long, wicked shadow of the King in Yellow is cast. Behind that mask lies echoes of decadence and disorder, masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal part. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the God King's court, the favoured victims of the King's sadistic amusement are followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? Where? Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn, I'm having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Is that going to work? I am standing outside after all. She couldn't have destroyed all of reality as she had a whole big group. Oh, she's... Oh, Lynetta. Just... Hmm. We got a smooch. Makes me happy. I haven't had a good proper smooch like that in a very long time, so... Hmm... Yay. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting, so it's probably around 7pm, which means I'm gonna go be crazy late. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day, sun up to sun down, that's why I'm... Six hours early for my shift? Oh, that sounds like the church's noontime bells. It's high noon? No way, they must be doing some special evening service or something. I can clearly see that it's the golden hour right before sunset. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work. If it's not too late and I really hoof it, I'll, get, I'll just get chewed out instead of fired. I'll still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Oh, someone's coming home. Perfect, fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. Oh, and I see they had an accident at the strawberry jam factory. How unfortunate. Hey man, sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have it the time on you, would you? Hello? Uh, hey. Hey? 
Is this guy ignoring me? Normally I'd say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the only stairway off this floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him. But this guy is giving me such weird vibes, I don't want to go anywhere near him. The longer I look at him, the guy this guy seems more and more suspicious. That's that odd posture. He's slowly swaying in an uncanny, disturbing way. The collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotches of deep browns and reds. Is he bleeding? Don't worry, it's just a Persona 5 cosplayer. Oh god, an anime convention's in town. We're screwed. God, the line at the Starbucks is going to be impossibly long. <laughs> Does he even live here? This is the top floor and I thought I've met all my neighbours. There are only four apartments up here. My only choice is that to go inside and call the police or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll... But just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with gold accents. A book? What? Huh? Lynetta! But I died! The world ended! The shock freezes me in place, and because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice. Yeah! I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious men's face. Fumbling with the locks in, the, in a panic, I manage to turn the deadbolt. I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book to my beating chest. I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual, so why am I still here? Where is here? Locked in my room, I have nowhere to run. Lynetta? Lynetta? If Lynetta was here, she would explain this. Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on, Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta, who? Who is this Lynetta you're trying to call? Shit. Missy, what are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. How kind of you. How did you even get in here? Your window is open. Huh? No, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you- Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? Mmm! What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed I slammed the door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside, or that my room is full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens? I can explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Uh, yeah, you're exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. You know what this is, don't you? Oh... I know what that is. It, it's a golden version of my book. The book I used to perform rituals for Lynetta. Hers looks way more ornate than mine. Considering I entered reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute, the sky. That suspicious man outside. They all match Missy's book. Is she making all of this happen? Oh god. When I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just going to show up with a hatchet or something. Missy, look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't- Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? I know all too well. But I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce. And if that's if she gets, uh, gets it right on the first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather... demanding. Name your price. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. Number one, you'll address me as your highness from now on. So when I come home, it's welcome home, your highness. When she comes home, she wants to move in? But that means... Whatever, it's not like I'm going to have to actually follow through on these. 
At least one of us is about to die. As you wish, your highness. What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. You're one and only. Sure, whatever. Just a little more, bit more until I'm sprinting in sprinting range of the knife. And number three. You'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. Do you agree to my terms? Absolutely. Absolutely. What? Absolutely, Your Highness. Uh, <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackles from my fingertips. She... she's not here to hurt me? Confused. I've liked you for a long time, and you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. There's no reason we can't simply work together. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? No, it is not. Right. We narrowly escaped with our lives just now. But something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in, re in the reality that ended at Lynette under Lynetta's awakening? And how does she get in through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that and then pass through my locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. Alright, your highness. I'm ready to end my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. <laughs> Could you tell me what this is? <laughs> Giga brain move. Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? What about it? So, you're an eldritch god disguised as a human. What? How did you figure that out so suddenly? Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce Wush Wush well. Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch alone word. Why else would it be spelled like that? <sighs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Yeah, you should have even you should have tried using your eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. What? What? You think cosmic entities are attractive as a human? Chat! Say it with me now! Fucking yes! Fucking yes! Eldritch entities are hot! 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non-Euclidean geometry are smoking hot. They've got curves I can literally get lost in. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, King in Yellow, heiress to Carcosa. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna need more whiskey for this. I did see someone ask what I was drinking tonight. I am currently drinking uh, Smokehead, which is a really nice whiskey. And yeah, it's just straight whiskey. I am drinking it over ice, though, because I typically prefer it with ice. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate check, Mike. Make sure I drink responsibly. And yeah, I did notice that the eye patch jumps a little between the character art. I just assumed that was just like a little inconsistency that they forgot. Or maybe it's part of her eldritch cosmic being her, like, it, it's just a thing that happens. I don't know. <laughs> She's gorgeous. A bonafide eldritch king in my room. Hey Scarlet, how's it going? I'm so glad you could join us. Feel free to stay as long as you like, sweetie. Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching and eldritch horror are coming true. An eldritch royalty to boot. The king in yellow. Sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of other existences is, is kind of fuzzy. What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods. Like, 
Lynetta. Shit, I kind of got swept up in the moment and almost forgot I already pledged fealty to a different god. This reality or not. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know. So loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Well, power. Whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. She promised me a smooch. And I shall... What, what, what? You handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? It was worth it, though. You heard me. So you'll match her offer, then. I... I suppose... If that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be... Uh, arranged. Oh, Scarlet, it was an exquisite smooch. She got her tentacles all up in our face. It was wonderful. No way. You promised to double it. That's two smooches. No, hold on a minute! Two of them. On the lips. I just... Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so... She's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. Scenes. The prompt book I gave you contains the script for the King in Yellow. Huh? You mean the spell book that I was so afraid of? It's just a damn play? Guys, we're gonna get thespian up in this. This thing is just a playbook. Where are all the power invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? No, we aren't barbaric it. swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed perfectly. Oh, then she is a good fit for the Blue Rose Respite. We're all about class and style and sophistication, aren't we, darlings? Hmm. Perfectly. I don't always get these rituals, uh, I mean scenes, right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. And you'll also be killed. Oh, just that. Ooh. I'm getting those smooches, no matter what. Break a leg, dearest. And there she is. Oh boy. Okay, Act 1, Invitation. Setting, Exterior, in view of city. Okay, in view of city. Okay, we're outside then. Suddenly I feel extremely underdressed in just jeans and a shirt. I'm wearing like a very comfortable tank top, but, but my lovely rings. Does that count? Am I stylish enough for you, O King in Yellow? Okay. <clears throat> Greetings, stranger, fortune fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. Greetings, stranger, fortuned fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow, so come ye all to your hill. Wear thine masks upon you to thy, my masquerade until he may come to loss your tell. Hope for us there may be still. Shadows lengthen, dim streets darken. To the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly dost thou bark in the dim city of your till? Only much attention, quite unwholesome you'll instill from the souls of poor you tell. Why attract so much ill will? This is kind of giving me like weird, like Oran High School Host Club vibes. Maybe it's just like the <laughs> laugh reminds me a little bit of that. So I'm the host. That is what I must seek, see, hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. Tis one invitee I seek, he shall be all my mistakes undo. 
tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I shall accrue. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king is whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? Oh. Samuel, you're too kind. Thank you. Okay. Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing, lasting till I'm decomposing, or my friends whom strife I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall be proud because I had brought the king to us. Bravo! Simply splendid! Oh, you flatter me, Astir. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Yeah, I was a theatre kid. My school did Macbeth. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. Yes, us theatre kids do have a chance. Fuck yeah, they do. <laughs> tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. I was tree number four. <laughs> Fucking hell, this game. I love it. I wasn't aware that was a role. It's not. You weren't even the leading tree? <laughs> Don't worry, I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. Acting. Oh, you are good. Well, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a literal rule. Oh. I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She'd literally vanish from the sunsets. What a Cinderella-like curse. That also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So she can't get into my room if I close the curtains. Aww, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. Oh, Kiss. She gave us that little smooch for free. Well, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Manetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Astira is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Astir, who do I want to smooch? Maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? Do I stay with Lynetta, or do I follow a steer this time around? She is offering twice as many smooches after all. Slightly off topic, I was aboard today and went down a rabbit hole that led me to discover that the origin of my name Hayden is Hayden, which is Old German for heathen. So my parents named me heathen, I will be living up to that from now on. Fuck yes. I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, Lynetta then I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch a steer, then I should open my window again when the clouds clear and use a steer's book. And if I try going for both, well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over. As long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? Oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world ending calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? Okay. Objective. Perform the calling ritual. <sighs> Guys! Lynetta's gonna come back. Fuck yes. Okay. Draw your curtains, turn off the bedside lamp, light fire candles, and put on a ritual necklace. 
Like, I think because in the previous chapter we did smooch Lynetta, so I'm planning on, like, playing through to see what happens with Astia. Um, and then, obviously, if you want to, like, ex experience the different endings in this game, feel free to pick up this game for yourselves, because there are slightly different endings, depending on choices you make. Like, we didn't do the breakup ritual, for example, so... There's plenty of delights in this game. <clears throat> Perform the calling ritual. Ensure all possible light has been stuffed from the room in your room. This means blah blah blah. Uh, when all's complete, chant. Manetta, half art, dish to Mortal, for what purpose have you? Darling, it's you! Hi! She's so pretty! I want a dress. I need that dress. I just need that outfit. Just, yes. Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have entered the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, I'm really glad you're here, but can you tell me what happened to me, to that world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Oh, so just like 8 billion people died. All 8 billion minus 1. And that one was me. Just as I thought. Only... Then, why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Oh, darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. Oh, Dread is figured I have been known to make many delightful noises kind of unexpectedly. <laughs> I just kind of let my emotions free flow when I play games like this, and I just let out many a delightful squeal. You're still here because I'm... I'm still dreaming about you. She's thinking about us? Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. That's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmic way. What would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you woke up all at once? Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. Oh, just that. And that can just happen at any time? Nah, don't worry. There's about 50 of us total. So the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. There's only like 50 of you in all. She probably knows the steer very closely. Mm-hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? Hmm. Family? Do you know a steer? Before we get too much further, um, because this game came out a little while ago, and there has been updates from the developer, they are working on a sequel. And they have shown what some of the other gods are gonna look like, and... I am so excited! <laughs> It's gonna be amazing! Esther, darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! S sister! Uh, I can't stand that prissy little boyfriend stealing! Don't, uh, have a great relationship with her. Absolutely not! Planets and followers for eons. It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. Uh, Thanksgiving dinners must be awkward, huh? <laughs> Darling, what's that on your forehead? I don't know what you're talking about. What's what? It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? No. Because if it is, well, you die here. No way! Did Esther leave a kiss mark on my face when she kissed me? I should have checked the mirror before I summoned Lynetta. It's a. Uh... It's what? Come on, man! Just bullshit it. Say something. It's ritual paint. Ritual paint? Yeah, it's one of the steps needed for your rituals. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Which ritual? Oh no! It's... 
It's a secret. I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend so that I can spare you. But from now on, if you contact another god, I swear I'll stop being so sweet. Okay? You wouldn't care if I had a human girlfriend? Of course not. Why would I care about that? When it's a race against other gods to amass as many followers as possible, expecting your followers to be celibate is a bad move. Oh yeah, Solaris Dracona, like, if you have a Twitter account, go to the developer's Twitter and scroll down because they've posted art of what some of the other gods are going to look like and they look amazing. Like, and there's also uh, the color out of space, they're going to be included as well. And all of them are so pretty and so very hot. Grammy Roxanne, it's actually a requirement that you start a big family, or you get excommunicated from her following. Oh, really? Grandma Roxanne? Oh, I'm sure you've heard of her. She's got the most followers out of any of us. She's the black goat of the woods, or the mother goddess of fertility. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check, Carmina. A fertility goddess, you say? No funny ideas, mister. There's no telling what I'd do if you cheated on me with a family member. Duly noted. Still, looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand saved my ass last time. Better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh, listen to myself. What the hell is wrong with me, man? Oh, I fully ex expect if we, uh, in the next game, we summon, uh, Grandma Roxanne, like, it is full red light. Turn on the red light. Turn on the red light. Turn on the red light. Okay, uh, perform switch or someplace where the gold can be cleaned easily in, like, a bathroom. Okay, we've got the knife. Okay. Perform Eldritch Mouth. This ritual allows you to utter unspeakable incantations. <laughs> it's still as unnerving as I remember. In this reality, this is just my hand now. Forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a date date. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Oh no. No, wait. But what? What is it? Uh, are you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out? Like last time. Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh no. Don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? Just a tad salty. Heavens below! I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. And thank you for the stretch check, Hayden. Sorry if I didn't do that before. Just... Uh, I'm a little distracted. <laughs> no peeking, but I love you! No worries, Lynetta. Take all the time you need. That was a close one. If she opened that window, Estia would have came. I would have been a goner. Looks like the clouds have cleared and Lynetta's out of the room. If I want to date Estia, it's go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Netta, I need to make absolutely sure that the window never opens. Ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. Okay, so. <sighs> my heart sings Lynetta. My heart screams Lynetta. But. But. In chapter one, we did get a smooch from her. And I'm very, very curious to see what happens with the rest of this play. So, I'm going to be following Estia's book. But honestly, pick up this game for yourself. Support an indie developer and explore the different endings and see the different paths and stuff. But this is just what I'm going to play through uh, for my stream. Because I'm just so curious to see how this goes. <clears throat> Backstage in an enclosed room with a mirror, prepare the host for scene two by doing the following. Apply the masquerade mask to host's face. Adorn elegant robes. 
Oh yeah, and the game is very reasonably priced as well. So, um, like seriously, check it out. Support the developer. Because they're amazing. And I'm not gonna lie, it would be a dream come true to voice one of the Eldritch Gods in a future game. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there in the universe. Okay, masquerade mask, elegant robes, and a ritual knife. Okay, I've got my knife. When all is complete, look in the mirror to ensure the costume is prepared properly. I look good. All right, looks like everything is in place. I feel all gussied up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. Uh, I'm not sure about the blood, though. But even so, the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world. If Bernetta is showering in here, I better meet with Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me, and... I already know what you're going to say, Your Highness. Yellow is more your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? You clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. It's a pretty smart, snug fit. The mask almost feels alive, like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Oh, that's unnerving. I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. It's stuck to my face somehow. Ow, ow! It really won't come off! Uh, <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. This surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct? I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye holes. The mask and your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. This is... What, do I have to wear this to work? When I see family? When I see Lynetta? Wait a minute. There are strange people outside. They all had masks stuck to them too. Are they past followers who became Estia's servants? Is that going to be my fate? Okay. Objective. Perform Act 2. Act 2. Constellation. Setting. Interior. Well lit. Host. Entering. Uh, wearing robes and mask. Okay. Well lit. Okay. Windows open. Candles are lit. Welcome, company much cherished. May my love loneliness thus perish to this evening wish or share which would be wasted on by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, beside thyself, but I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once he arrives. Uh, I was looking at the price of the game on Steam, and there is a prelude. Is playing that needed, or is it summarized when you play this game? I think the prelude was essentially just Lynetta's chapter, um, from what I assume. And then when uh, Sucker for Love First Date came out, it was like the full game. So essentially the prelude was more like a kind of a teaser to kind of generate interest. Um, so that then they could get like the interest and uh, the funds to develop the full game. At least that's what I assume. Like I didn't have any issues like jumping straight into this game without playing the prelude, but that's just me. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Baby, graciously obeisance, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. 
All who have entombed you till will know without report the king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. Hold your applause, please. An immaculate performance, dearest. Bravissimo. There's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. Oh, brilliant! In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Wait, my character dies? I'm going to die? I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Fuck you. <laughs> is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? Dude, she's an ancient eldritch cosmic deity. Of course she thinks your death is funny. I get she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's got to be cruel even for her. No way I can go through with that. Sorry, I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However, my wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. So, for your sake, dearest, do the fucking scene. Okay. Okay, can I read ahead a little bit? No. Okay, that is more like that little blue lettering, in case you were curious, that's more leading into like the third chapter, which we have already unlocked. Hee hee hee. Food preparation guide prepare for scene three by doing the following. Retrieve ingredients from cold storage, right? Let, uh, light red fire candles. Allow the king into the room. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it doesn't say anything else about the lighting, so we should be good. Just in case something about the ritual knife sets it off. Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. The room is filled with the mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical component involved here because I see no less than three of my favourite dishes. Esther is strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I should have expected that. Uh, what was that? It sounded like groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Was that from the masked stalkers outside? If they've all got masks on their faces, they must be Estia's followers, or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy? Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they kill for the chance to spend any time with Estia. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. I mean, my linen sheets are at least a 1,000 thread count. Oh, you were talking about the characters. Okay. I do have very nice bed sheets. <laughs> oh, hey, it's her church! <laughs> Sam! <laughs> oh, no, it's her simps! Her army of simps is pissed at me! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna take those two <laughs> checks. Like, to be fair, Esther is not my type. Like, definitely not my type. She's way too high maintenance. Um, Lynette is more my type. But I'm just so curious to see how this unfolds with Esther. That's why I picked her. So, 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. A uh, quick question, if you don't mind. Uh, did you ever read any Colin Thiel growing up? That sounds familiar, but I, it's not coming to mind, like, any of their written works. Any less than a thousand would be uncivilized. Silk? My blankets are cotton. Uh, perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. <laughs> oh, fuck you. It's not that bad. So picky. She's that uppity. Maybe I'll start with the grapes? Something that'll feed her princess complex? Uh, oh. mm. I'm glad. Another. Hey, I think I could have think I could have one of these? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. Hmm. But the thing is, if she was clever, she would say, Oh, but my lips have already touched it, dearest. That counts as an indirect smooch. That's one gone. <laughs> oh, yeah? So you won't eat anything my lips have touched either? Of course not. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh, heavens below, yes. I am pleased by this new attitude of yours, dearest. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Mmm, delicious. So good. I've never had anything like it. Let me try. Oh, you want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it? <laughs> I love it. I do love it that our character is just. It's. They're not being. A huge sim that are being playful and kind of poking fun at them at the same time. I, I don't want it after all. Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, hold on. Mmm, it's really delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any any of it. What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert. Or suffer an indirect kiss. <laughs> what was that? I order you to hand over the cream puff. Very well, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead. I forgot I was hand feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Mm, it really is delightful. She's damn cute when she drops her statistic front. I do more, but I feel those husks starting staring jealous daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Yeah, I fully imagine just like maybe they left their windows like that are facing the door like open like the blinds open just a smidge and the followers are just like staring through the window just seething with rage <laughs> if i i'll i do more those. i feel those husks staring dallas daggers into my back they'll tear my head off if i let this go on shouldn't we save some of this for the play it'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set won't it i suppose very well let us resume the play. Okay. Um, interior, no light besides open window. Okay. Into the wearing robes and mask. Okay. Damn the night, and morrow scornful, wicked when morning unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitious unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it us only still? Oh, why my wishes unfulfilled? Oh, why so livid? It's your actions that permit 
considered this result truly befitted to a hunger such as thine. Though your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die, it's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Wretched guest, you've come to mock me. From the amusement thou hast hawking, and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, and hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart, leave naught else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Shocking. Lo, for I'm the king in yellow whose long shadow is on your till, and whose shadow you're in still. Dark as death is now your till. Yes. Yes, Eldritch form, baby. Kermit, just for one line of the play. Okay, I'll do it for one line. One line for that, pick my voice, Samuel, okay. I'll read it for just this one line. Urk, draw thy blade from mine contusion. My life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? But I've granted all your wishes, I'm afraid I disagree. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. And as vision turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. And the strong will fall to illness, haunt you too with perfect stillness. And none left alive to witness my ascension to you till. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still. We heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. Cries unprecedented in the history of Yatil. Wails unlike they'll ever be again in dark Yatil. That your invitation's quill brought the king to black Yatil. Someone had a lot of fun writing this play. Honestly, the poetry, the language flows so well. I genuinely enjoy reciting it and listening to it. This is amazing. I fucking love this game. It's my final curtain thank call. You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're all too kind. Listen to that applause, dearest. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. Innumerable voices make up a cacophony of cheering outside my door. Fanatical revelry, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles! Aren't you proud of yourself? Why... why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm... really bleeding out here. My blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseamed. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Oh, with sweet sorrow the curtain falls, and the show begins. Mike, you continue to be a blessing and a curse upon my chat. <laughs> but thank you for clipping that. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. You... you mean the smooches you promised? Plural. You said you'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? Yes. You are... an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. No one can slay the Seraph of Stories that easily!
the yellow sign. The yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the king in yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play, the king in yellow will cause a permanent irreversible obsession with the king, her court, and Carcosa. The insane obsession perishes after death. If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light black fly fire candles. This will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Draw the shape below without the X. Behold the yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments, nations, relationships. Oh shit. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with them like gold dust. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Because. I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. Oh no. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of cloud amongst the night-going crowd and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least... Until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. Oh no, how terrible of me. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. All the husks. They're bleeding from their chests onto their elegant robes. Just like me. All these people. Why? Why? Because it's what I do. No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Huh? Yeah, I don't want witnesses when we smooch, okay? Go away! Such a defiant tone! Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Were you... unaffected? Did... did the spell fail? I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me! Uh, I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> You can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Are you proposing to me? I accept. <gasps> Mr. Creepypasta! MCP! How's it going, guys? Oh, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. I really, really appreciate it. Just before we get our smooches on. Um, hi guys uh i hope you're doing well i hope you had an awesome time with mr creepypasta thanks so much for joining us tonight chat pull up some chairs make our guests feel welcome um i'm a variety streamer i stream a lot of different things at the moment we're enjoying uh, a sucker for love first date um and we're having a ton of fun with it so thank you so much for joining me tonight guys feel free to follow if you like the show uh stick around as long as you like and Again, MCP, thank you so much for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. Also, that screen needs to be updated. Uh, I finished my Dragon Age Inquisition stream, and I still need to decide what to do after this one. <laughs> Kamui852, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely Lost Tales, and you are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. We're all having an awesome night tonight, guys. Um, just a quick content warning. While this game is very tongue-in-cheek and very fun, it does have some, uh, kind of gruesome horror elements to it, including, like, uh, cosmic horror, body harm, like, weird shit. So, just a quick heads up, just before we get any further, just want you guys to stay safe, okay? Alright, let us continue then, chat. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely 
to please me. Rain the Piglin, thank you so much for the follow as well. You too, and one of my lovely lost tales now, and you are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, yeah, that sound just sounds like marriage. No, I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time. A servitude unlike anything on earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else. No, we have that on Earth. It's called marriage. It's different! It's not. It's too! How so? It means no freedom. Forever. You are only permitted to do as I say. Yep. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Yeah, for sure. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Ah, Scarlet, our local Eldritch being. Yes, that is up for Scarlet to decide whether or not she is an Eldritch being too, or a Eldritch Fae entity like me. It's yet to be seen. Until death do us part, even. Exactly. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. Dearest. <gasps> Smooch! Y you shouldn't. I, I. I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. I prefer the term Nephilim, but I will allow Eldritch being. Good to know. Good to know. <gasps> Yes, Mr. Creepypasta, this game has kissing in it! <gasps> Shocking, I know! But feel free to stick around, like, if you like eldritch, adore, amazingly gorgeous, gorgeous eldritch goddesses, then stick around, you might enjoy it. I preferred you from the beginning. I already broke up with Annette in, in the other reality, actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. Save it for our wedding day. Uh, it, you can't be serious, right? He was serious! <laughs> the King in White! I love this game! <gasps> this Fucking game! I'm sorry, I have to take a moment to take this all in. Just like, huh? That face! <laughs> we did it, guys! We did it! Oh my god, I love this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> ah. But that is the end of chapter two. Sucker for love, first date. There's one more to go, guys. And just a heads up, this is the chapter where things get extra weird. And that's why I did the quick content warning at the start of the stream and just now after the raid. Um, so yeah, proceed with caution. If you need to take a step away, it's all good. You're not ready. Chapter 3, Neolarthotep's Catastrophe. Chapter 3, Neolarthotep's Catastrophe. <sighs> Fear of the unknown is the single strongest fear of mankind. Terrors from beyond the borders of knowledge. Okay, it's all good, Scarlet. Thank you so much for joining us for a bit. I really, really appreciate it, but you take care of yourself, okay, sweetie? And chat, lots of hugs for Scarlet, please, and thank you. And yet, the truest horror has been in mankind's cradle since the beginning and walks the earth amongst us now. For true evil exists not in the devil unseen, but the devil seen and unrecognized. 
When you meet her, you realize that tucking away the rest of the horrors to the unseen corners of the stars is a blessing. A shade of a thousand manifestations, each more horrific than the last. She serves only one whose chaotic and phantasmagorical wishes she obeys with extreme prejudice. It's been a busy week. I need to refill a little bit more of my whiskey. Boop. But enough about me. <gasps> Let's talk about you. Hi. Well, well, well. You're the one that Lunetta calls darling and that Esther calls dearest, aren't you? Oh. Oh, do you guys like, do you guys like it when I purr? <gasps> well, that's some lovely food for thought, isn't it? <laughs> I knew Thornya Lathotep was the greatest of your problems. I, I, this dread, it's like when I first met Lynetta, but this time it's a stage, like a state of constantly being breathless. The very air has become unfamiliar and alien to me, saturated with infinite male malevolence, it is impossible to breathe. This veil has been pierced, and the outer cosmos has revealed its limitless cruelty in the form of this avatar of insidious implication. Its very presence assails my mind, turning it against itself and all that is decent. There, at the terminal precipice, I learned that terror not only haunts, it speaks. Speak up. I'm an older god, so I'm a little hard of hearing. Are you or are you not the human that has been dating my nieces? Oh. Chat, does that make her a cougar? <laughs> Normally, I have an ounce of defiance in me, and I demand that she introduces herself first. But now, I feel it in my very bones. I'm being talked down to by something far beyond me. No, Mike, come back! I need more mods to make sure everyone in chat behaves themselves! I... I... I am... Good. Okay. Thanks for the hydrate check, Amina. Would you like a cup of hot tea? A cold glass of water? Generous. Uh, you're offering me something to drink. You've been through a lot. I just wanted to ensure you're at ease for now. Mm, that sounds perfect. No, I just meant it's odd for you to be a guest in my room and offer me something. Are you certain this is your room? What? The very floor beneath my feet feels mercurial and unreliable, shifting nightmarishly in non-Euclidean vertigo. Who... Who are you? Who am I? I am the obscure, the unutterable. I am the crying chaos. When mankind pushes out into the unknown, I am the unknown that pushes back. Mm. So those little growls in the audio just makes my brain do happy little, like, cartwheels. But, just like my troublesome nieces, you can just call me Auntie Nyan Nyan. I... Ooh. Unlike with the Netta or Astia, I can't overcome the unnerving presence overwhelming my senses. I feel violently sick. <laughs> Never been visited by someone so high up in rank as me, have you? Silly question. There's only one that outranks me, and if you had met her, neither of us would still exist. Ominous vistas of terror open from every corner of my mind. I want to run, shrieking and wailing, and alas, I've nowhere to go. My, my. You're still holding on, eh? I expected you to last long enough to chat, but it seems you're nearing your limit. Let me offer you some words of assurance. I'm the last outer god you'll ever have to see. Until the sequel comes out. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, 
that things are about to return to abnormal. <laughs> Hi, Shev. How's it going? Glad you could join us. Eldritch horrors will return to being obscure boogeymen that stalk unbeknownst to their prey. The veil shall be lowered again until the gate opens and mankind is eradicated. In other words, you'll never see me or my family ever again. Uh, Samuel, how would you describe her voice? I've never found a good description for this pol uh, pairing sultry command. Uh, are you referring to uh, Nilathotep's voice or my voice? Just for clarification. Because I would describe Nilathotep's voice as warm, almost matronly in some ways. Like, there's a sense of command to her voice, but there's that kind of snarl to it as well. But why? Why do you want to split us up? Did you know that even amongst gods, there are things that are strictly taboo? Oh, really? You see, whenever mankind starts exploring too far, too quickly, you accelerate the end of all things. So we appear to slow things back down. We scare you back to the safety of the familiar. Mm -hmm. We whisper evils and destructive mantras to the most dangerous of your kind to ensure progress slows. Because the longer you stay afraid, the longer you live. To put it simply, once mankind isn't afraid of us anymore, everything will come to an end. <laughs> Mr. Creepypasta, personally, I describe her voice as mommy. God fucking damn it, MCP. <laughs> Okay. Her voice is now described as Eldritch Mommy. Mommy? Humans are doomed to explore, and once mankind makes the last discovery, once mankind reaches the edge of the map. Although, I would personally describe her voice as more Mother Apologies. Mother Apologies? Like, it, maybe it's just like the extra depth in her voice and that gravitas that she carries that has that more command to her. And I'm, it seems, it comes across as more matronly, a little bit more than motherly. You'll fall off. So if there's one thing that is certain amidst this infinite cosmos, it's that for all of time, our relationship is shepherd and livestock as we set the pace to the slaughterhouse. In that context, outer gods and humans being romantically involved is beyond taboo. It's still fun though. It's upsetting the natural order and is a conflict of interest to say the least. Now all of this I can forgive because my troublesome nieces led you astray. I know you didn't mean to participate in such a grave taboo, right? Mm-hmm. And Kamui, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you have a good time with us at the Blue Rose Respite. I guess I didn't know. Good. Then we can work together to ensure it'll never happen again. You're familiar with these books, yes? Yes. I had one made for just this occasion. Do what needs to be done. Perform the Banish Moo ritual. What... what will it do? <laughs> Moo is the bookmaker, so it will prevent eldritch gods and humans from dating ever again. Oh, I don't like that. No more books can be made, and the entity responsible for bridging the gap between our realms will be destroyed. Our relationship will return to strictly business, in a manner of speaking. I don't want... Do not force me to remind you the grave seriousness of the situation. I promise you've never seen anything like what I can do. Oh my god, and she's so tall. Sorry. She's, she's got to be standing at least like seven to eight feet tall. And curves for days. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting so distracted. Um... I'm so sorry she forced me to make this book. She said she'd spare me if I let you banish me instead. To destroy me, draw the symbol, and chant this. Goodbye. I hope that love will be your black fire in total darkness. 
Hmm. There's more to this. Given how bent over she is, she's at least 10 feet. Like, yes. 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 Okay. Total darkness. Close feet. Close that. Off. Off. Super dark. Super spooky. And black fire. <gasps> you didn't think I was going to turn my back on you, did you? We could beat her together. There's still hope for love. Draw this symbol instead. And wearing the ritual amulet, chant this. Oops. Hmm. I'm just letting you guys enjoy this visual for now. Candlelight. Ten foot tall, terrifying eldritch goddess in our bedroom. Hmm. <laughs> All right. You didn't think I was going to turn my back on you, did you? We could beat her together. There's still hope for love. Draw the symbol instead. Wearing your ritual amulet, which we are. Chant. Looking for this dog? Maybe. And hi, Eden Beast. How's it going? <laughs> Glad you could join us. We're just getting into the final chapter of this game. You may be capable of pulling a fast one on my nieces, but nothing escapes my gaze. I think you'll find it quite impossible to cast that counter evil without this amulet. Oh no. Now, my stray sheep, it's time I shepherd you back in line. But first... <laughs> Oh, tits. No. Okay, you can't see it, but that's become my health bar. I am f fucked. Oh, oh, okay. Um. Tits. Um, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, um. Flesh becomes porous. Um, if holes appear on your hand, you have a curse with a pharmacy. Looks like this. Holes will multiply until you are no more. Okay, wear the mask and go to the bathroom. Tits. Oh, gods. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay, and then chant until the holes are filled. Do you believe your mind is still on your side? Do you still trust it? We'll see who it sides with soon. What's that outside your window? Oh, fucking hell. Okay, um. Terrifying shit's happening. Um. Only such a blood and flesh begins. That's not right. Um, uh, no. Uh, okay, there's something for written on the walls, but I can also hear things. Um, counter spell torment. If you hear suspicious noises calling you, check your window. If you, uh, do not go outside. Do not open the door. Chant this. Okay, counter failed tormentor. Very clever. But I'll have you know, I've met many clever humans. None of them could outwit oh. me in never, the end. Never trust any written words beside mine. If writing has begun to appear anywhere on the, uh, the writing on the walls after you draw, there's no writing on your body. You wrote, uh, check your mirror and wash it off your face. You wrote it without realizing it. Do not touch your chalkboard. Okay, bathroom. Okay. And chant this three times. Yeah, I don't fuck Yeah, 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 dick. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just quickly check. Okay, shit. Um, wash that. I should probably take my mask off too. Okay, um, I'm not sure if the, that text appearing means like more letters are on my face. Uh, apparently there is. Also, my hair has gone white from stress. Yeah, I'm 
Was that too easy for you? We've only begun to lift the veil. Let's see how you handle the next one, dog. Okay. What's coming after me? What is it? What are you sending after me? What is it? Mm, I don't like this. How's my appearance looking? Okay, I'm okay, just terrified. Oh fucking fuck. What the shit was that? I've walked the earth while man was still no! in this cradle. I know not only what scares you, but what terrified every single one of your ancestors. Okay, something weird's happening with my hand. What the fuck's happening? If you start to- oh wait, is this it? Countervail spirit away. If you start to turn invisible while you move, you're being spirited away. They're looking for you. Want a takeaway. Don't bother hiding. Pretend you're alive by standing in your room that's well lit as possible and remain perfect still. Hold your breath. Okay. Well lit. And don't move. I'm not moving. It's literally a game of uh, cat and mouse. It, it's like, she calls us dog, but it feels like cat and mouse. I think I'm doing the right thing. Here's an eye opener for you. Ah, I'm just to write this video. <laughs> Please don't eat me. I didn't sign up for spooky scary skeletons. Also, if you guys are enjoying the show so far, consider following. We would love to have you back. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I did it. The sound's gone. I expected those to be a challenge. These next horrors won't be so easy to dispel. Oh, f what the fuck is this? Um. Video scratching glass, check your reflection. Serious, suspicious voices. There is no escape. Something here. If lights go out and won't turn on, you'll cast by the tin of the street lights. I know she's thinking it's insincere. Uh. Before the darkness takes hold. Okay. Okay. I think this is it. Because it's like my shadow, so like light is a thing. Okay, chant that three times. I think this is right. Starting to have trouble. Are these horrors becoming too challenging for you to withstand? It'll take more than that to destroy my love of eldritch goddesses. Bring it on! <laughs> oh, you can't begin to imagine the horrors I can show you. And soon, you won't have to imagine. Your voice won't be heard again. Oh. Uh, okay. Can I not speak? Oh shit, what's that? Okay, um, I can't speak. Uh, counter evil silence. If you're unable to speak and perform incantations, you've been silenced. Try not to scream. Grab the ritual knife and go to the bathroom with the mirror. Okay, ritual knife. Bathroom. Oh shit. Okay, um. What is that sound though? Um. Chorus chants inco incomprehensible prophecies of doom. What the fuck is happening? If he is suspicious, uh. Mm, no, that was what we happened before. I think that she will play it up. He has something strange that it's getting louder in time. It's not just your imagination. It can kill you. Go outside. Okay, go outside. Oh, yeah, that's fucking horrifying. Um, a counselor's card about. <laughs> Haven't surrendered yet, dog. I... I'm impressed. 
You've got backbone for a human of your age. What do you mean of my age? <laughs> Fuck off. But I doubt your will to survive will last much longer. I mean, we're currently in space at the moment. I mean, that's something. What's going on? What's happening? Suffering is born. What the fuck? What's happening? What's coming for me? Okay, I'm still doing okay. Fuck, what is that? God damn it! Oh, my health's not doing great. Suffering is born. What the fuck's happening? Okay, what is that thing? Routinely check that your doors are still closed. If they are ajar, close them. You only have moments to do so. If you enter your home, you won't leave without taking something with him. However, if you wear a mask and have a life form on your person, he may spare you and leave only the life form. If you wake up unharmed, he has taken your deal. This will only protect you once. Okay, um. I think I did it right. Shit. <sighs> okay, give that another try. Oh, good time for a stretch check. Thank you, Hayden. Ah! All right, let's give that another try, shall we? And thank you for the hydrate check, Jen. Thank you. Okay. So it was this, off, off, and then candles. Mm. And thank you for the hydrate checks, Mr. Creepy Bastard. Mm -mm. Yeah. I might get a slight indication that I might be just a little bit thirsty. Mm. Mermaid stuff. So you're just drowning me with hydrate checks. Mm. Well, it's a good time to do it. Because, I mean... Once I get settled into trying to survive the eldritch monstrosities that are being thrown in my direction. I kind of get a little bit distracted. Um, I think I'm good. Okay. Wearing ritual amulet. Chant. Yeah. Looking for this? Maybe. Dog. You may be capable of pulling a fast one on my nieces, but nothing escapes my gaze. I think you'll find it quite impossible to cast that counter evil without this amulet. Now, my stray sheep, it's time I shepherd you back in line. But first... Alright! Wish me luck, guys. Okay, what's happening? Okay, what's the first thing that she's throwing at us? Okay, so it's the same first one. Okay. Mask time! Yep, I'm not looking so good. Time to chant. One. Do you believe your mind is still on your side? Do you still trust it? We'll see who it sides with soon. What's that outside your window? Okay, let's take care of the voices first. Which was uh which one was it? Um Uh, if you see something upsetting, do not go outside no matter what you hear. Do not open the door for it. I think it's this one. Very clever. But I'll have you 
you know I've met many clever humans. None of them put out with me in the end. And check for riding. I think I'm good. I just need to take off my mask. Okay, check for riding. Wash that off. Oh, tits. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Was that too easy for you? We've only begun to lift the veil. Let's see how you handle the next one, dog. Okay, this one uh, was the light, wasn't it? Uh, shit, what was it? What was it? What was it? Uh, I think it was this one. Was it? No, it left. It's the light one. Shit, shit, shit. What was it? Uh, okay, that symbol. Come on. That was it. Uh,. Pull the Dark Six Dominion, chant three times. <laughs> Fuck. Um. I thought I was doing this right. Symbol. What the fuck? It is the right symbol. What the shit? <laughs> no, it's the right symbol. Come on. Come on, shit, 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 shit. That was it. Okay, that was it. Sure, the symbol is nearby. One. Two. Goodbye. Hmm. I expected those to be a challenge. Okay. I think that first one was maybe a glitch, but it seemed to have worked. These next horrors won't be so easy to dispel. Come on. Your voice won't be heard again. Okay. Uh, the voice one, it's, uh, I take the ritual dagger, and then I go to the bathroom, and then I cut these things off me. Ah! And the terrifying sounds, um... Yep, we go outside, and we chant this. Starting to have trouble. Are these horrors becoming too challenging for you to withstand? <laughs> oh, you can't begin to imagine the horrors I can show you. And soon, you won't have to imagine. I've walked the earth while man was still rocking in its cradle. I know not Okay, we're turning invisible. You, but what terrified every single one of your ancestors. Fuck, where is it? Oh shit, come on. Oh, uh, where is it? Are you not turn invisible? Uh, turn on all the lights. And I stay still. Come on. Sorry, chat, if I'm not watching you as much as I should be, but I'm just like really a little bit stressed right now. I'm trying to stay alive. Okay, I think this is the right one. Here's an eye opener for you. I 
I'm just, just a little bit stressed. Come on. Come on, go away. Go away, go away, go away. I just want to make sure you're all sipping respectfully. That's why. <laughs> okay. Haven't surrendered yet, dog. I, I'm impressed. Oh. You've got backbone for a human of your age. What do you mean by that? But I doubt your will to survive will last much longer. Okay, I think I had everything on me for that. Okay, sounds of scratching glass. What was that? He scratched glass. If you see something strange in the mirror, run away. Um, change your bedroom, turn off all the lights. Okay, check the bathroom mirror first. Oh, that is not good. Okay. Um, I have against the room. There's nothing you could do. Okay, we chart this. Come on, come on, come on! You've survived all that. Just one human in such a short time becoming. Wait, did we pass it? I can't believe it. You're no average human. That I certainly am not. But you still can't escape me. She must be running out of tricks by now. The ultimate wrath of Ooh. applying chaos is upon you. Hold fast and prepare yourself, dog. Oh shit! Okay, she's pissed. I've lasted this long. It's, I'm not stopping now. I am not afraid. <laughs> then you lack imagination. Your voice won't be heard again. Okay. Uh, silence. I take care of that issue. Okay. What was the last one? Okay, this one. Okay, then it was the other one. Uh, I think this one. Are they gonna try knocking? Come on. Very clever. And then it's the writing oh, on the wall. You know, I've met many Come clever on. humans. None of them could outwit me in the end. Yeah, 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 back. Okay, check writing. Wash that off. Two. Okay. Wash my face. Okay, I'm turning invisible. What do I need to do? Uh, it was a fully lit room, I think. Here's an eye opener for you. And then I think I stay still. Come on. Come on. Come on, go away. Go away. Come on. Okay. Okay. 
Anything else? Okay, flesh becoming porous. Okay, I go back to the bathroom. Shit. Okay, yes. This one was the first one we did. Okay, sounds of glass scratching nearby. Um, check the mirror. Okay, horror, terrifying, nightmare, shit. Okay, um, where is it? Um, turn off all the lights. Okay, uh, this one with these lights. Oh shit, okay, come on, come on. Uh, scientific physical is not the right one. Come on. There is no escape. this one um okay that's the symbol you you're still standing how because I'm determined to win this fucking game. In fact, the longer this has been going on, you've seemed more and more resolved. Damn right. It's not possible. There's no emotion stronger than fear, and no fear more powerful than fear of the unknown. That's not true. Humans don't fear the unknown. Never have. If you think we do, you haven't been paying attention. Even sailors, the most superstitious humans to ever walk the earth, set sail to the edges of the world because, well, they were sure was flat and inhabited by sea monsters. We've been inventors, explorers, and astronauts. Hell, we take holidays to places we've never been for fun. You're not even stuttering anymore. Why aren't you cowering before me? Because you were wrong, Auntie Nyan Nyan. There's only one emotion stronger than fear. There's one feeling that every living thing knows, and it's way stronger than fear. It, it can't be. It's love. No, fool. It's lust. What? You think the male praying mantis knows fear while he's getting some? Hell no. Oh, ridiculous. You're saying pure lust is keeping you from being scared of me? Damn right it is! <laughs> Ever heard of the suspension bridge effect? They say when two people face danger together, they fall in love. Not when one of them is the danger. You, don't you understand the cruel indifference of the infinite cosmos? Your world, your reality, everything you know and love, it's all meaningless and could vanish in an instant. Even as we speak, your sun spins around the precipice of terminal oblivion. Huh. Idiot. The only thing that the sun spins around is the Earth and every human on it! And that's not all. There's more you don't realize! You really think I'm meaningless because I'm human, right? You think I'm the lowest of the low, an insignificant speck not worthy of any attention. And yet, here I am. In your dream. <gasps> I've got that right, don't I, Auntie Nyan Nyan? If I'm here with you, it's because you're dreaming about me. Oh no. It means I'm in your head, 
just as much as you're in mine. I think the truth is that you're terrified of me. You're terrified of the speed at which I'm meeting the unknown and planting a big wet one on it. I'm terrifying enough to have invaded your dreams after all, right? You've come face to face with the greatest threat to your power and nothing you can throw at him can stop him. And after all this, after meeting Lynetta, serving Esther's whims and being subjected to the worst you have to offer, I gotta say, it was all pretty fun. Now tell me, does this sound like it's my nightmare or is this yours? It's my win, Auntie Nyan Nyan. It can't be. You, you think you can turn the tables on me? I already have. You're the second most powerful god and you fear me. It's only a matter of time before I date every single god you know. I'm gonna leap into the great unknown cosmos and smooch that too. Starting with you. Pucker up, Auntie Nyan Nyan. You've earned it. <laughs> he... He... Escaped from me. A human too lustful to fear anything. Could such a thing even exist? What... Horror. As soon as any of us dreams again, he undoubtedly will return to haunt our hearts once more. Oh, I'm never getting a good night's sleep with him on the loose. All of you, look respectfully. Look respectfully. Auntie Nyan Nyan. And that, my lovely Lost Tales, was Sucker for Love First Date. I love this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> oh my god. I hope you all genuinely had a great time with me. I love this game so much. Like that last chapter is it's so tense. So I'm sorry if I was a bit quiet during it. I was trying to stay alive as best I can. But oh my god, this game. Like honestly, I highly recommend checking this game out for yourself because of course there's stuff I wasn't able to do in my stream like different endings and stuff like that. Um, different options for different things to interact with the different books. Um, but I love this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me tonight, guys. I was like, okay, I want to do just like a fun game that's like a kind of um, uh, a palate cleanser of sorts between my longer games. So after finishing Dragon Age Inquisition and Bayonetta, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a bit of breathing space between my other games. But this was amazing. I'm so glad I experienced this with you guys. And I sincerely hope you all had a great time tonight. I think that's it. Yep, it feels like it's just kind of the same background stuff that's happening. So let's head back to the main menu. So thank you all so very much for joining me tonight i had an amazing time with all of you guys here at the blue rose respite if you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far please consider following we would love to have you back at the blue rose respite you are welcome anytime and be sure to check out my other socials that are in the chat right now including my twitter for important updates and other fun things uh, my youtube for my asmr tales i have a new one that's scheduled to come out tomorrow that i am very excited about 
Um, I It was one of those recording sessions where I just felt like the energy was flowing so naturally as I was recording it and I felt fully immersed in the character. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. And of course my Instagram for lovely pictures and all that good stuff. And also I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who supported me tonight um, in terms of like uh, renew subscriptions, gifting subs, uh, bit drops. You guys went above and beyond tonight uh, at the start of the stream. So thank you all so very much for your incredible generosity. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. But let's see who's currently streaming tonight and who we can go say hello to. Um, why don't we go and give some love to Zora and the Bear? Because they're amazing. So, I'll send you guys over to there to continue the love from the Blue Rose Respite. But thank you all so very much for joining me tonight, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And remember, take care. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as always, smooch. Eldritch goddesses and stay strong and wicked and wonderful. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs>